That's the importance for this for them. And uh, Lightning Pandas coming through that open bracket. They need to pick up some wins here if they want to try to pull out this pool. All right, so Roti with the sniper, try to snap onto Zuma, who picks up that kill long range with the PPSH. That's man advantage now in favor of FaZe. Three to two, they have control of the bomb site as well. Priest is going to take down Proto, so it's all left all up to Exotic, a 1v3 for him, and he's got to fuse the bomb. It's one. He sees Zuma, doesn't know where Priest is. Get some shots, he may try to contest. He thought he was going to get challenged there. They may have tried to trade him off, but now 30 seconds on the clock. All right, going to try to re-challenge. And he's aiming, done. looking for him. You know he had to do it. He knew that that guy was going to push him, so yeah. he just had a bad guess. All right, so it's FaZe coming out strong. They win their first round as rounding the kill cam. You see Priesta playing a little bit of merry-go-round as Zuma was just baiting, trying to get information. Of course, if Zuma takes any significant damage, all he does is go prone and allows Priesta to clean up that kill. Now, so Revin, good start for FaZe here. Revin, you're the expert, and, and for our new viewers out there, Search and destroy Arden's fours. You got bomb site A and B. Which one is more favorable? Uh, definitely the B bomb site's a bit more favorable. If you look at A, a lot of times teams only have one player defend that bomb site because you have so much cover and so much area to work with. It's tough to take that player out of contention over near A. That was a good smoke mid map as well. Allow Exotic to push through. He gets one. He sees the second. Not able to get replays. Zuma's gonna save his life. Replays goes down. Zuma go down as well. All up to Priest. The one v three situation. Bomb in hand of Proto. Priesta going to creep in, going to flank around back bell. He, you know, you just saw him walk past Royalty. Royalty is looking mid-map, thinking that he's coming from Cabin. Goonjar gets the intel, and he's going to beam him down. I, I got to see this kill cap one more time. It looked, I, I thought he was going to be able to pick up that kill, but looks like Goonjar got some cover at the last oh, look, second. cover here. Yeah, okay, so tank. that makes sense now. I, I thought Goonjar was at the right. All right, going to go into round number three. You know, now, Lightning Pandas winning map number one. Would you have expected that? I, I, I don't think so. I, I definitely think you favor FaZe coming to the series. But look, Lightning Pandas, they're hot from the open bracket. And FaZe, of course, it takes some time to, to get the juices going, as we were just talking about. But now FaZe starting to get warmed up. Let's see if Lightning Pandas can cause an upset here. As right down the middle of the map, it's Zuma trying to make a play happen. He could flank all four players at Lightning Pandas. If, it, if he decides to go towards B, they have no one at A right now. And Lightning Pandas, and this is I've seen them do this rotation. before this event, all four right through the B site. I don't think I've, I've seen a full rotation like that since Infinite Warfare. They're all sticking together. This bomb is going to be planted. Now, Lightning Pandas, Lightning Pandas controlling that back bunker. Phase is in a good spot. 3v4 situation in favor of Lightning Pandas on board with Zuma. Waiting for somebody to cross him. They know that they got two guys over there by Bunker. Now he knows that they, they got to come Cabin Alley. He gets one. Looking for the second. Going to back up. Use this bomb as a heady. Looking for the next one. Get the call out. Going to push in. Clean that up as well. Gunfight lost mid-map. Now you're in a 2v2. Okay, Attach coming out through Bunker. Royalty finds going the preset. Attach finds one. It's a 1v1, but he's going to lose it as Exotic comes around the back. And I was about to say, I felt like Lightning Pandas were playing that a little bit slow. I mean, you go for the full flank. All four players right through the B bomb site. You're able to clear out like that bunker side of the map. Then they send two down through the middle of the map. And I felt like those two players had to go a little bit quicker because you have the other two who are, who are just waiting at Bunker for some action to happen so that they can push on through the field and try to find the kills over near cabin side but it, it's lightning pandas they're able to take that as they take the lead in this search yeah, they were very passive with that with that rotation uh checking every corner dotting their eyes crossing their t's and and in the they got the round win on board with goon jordan he's going to come out try to clear out top runs nobody's going to be there now they're looking they're going to back up again so they started the engagement at the b bomb site and now we're going to see another rotation a uh, bit of a distraction play maybe yeah. Make some noise over near B, try to draw a rotation out, and normally teams only have one near the A bomb site, so they're going to try to isolate this player, but look at Attach. He's playing for the quick rotate over near the A bomb site. So I'm not sure if Lightning Pandas are going to expect this, but oh, Exotic, he's going to oh. find the play over near the wood head. He takes down Priest, and now we know Attach is over near the middle of the map. Pre-fire comes out, but they should look to get the bomb down and start to get in their post-plant positions. Big player to look out for is going to be Royalty, who's holding down Bunker. He has that extra angle to lock off any players who want to push field. With that kill on Priest, they're watching all alleys. They got Cabin Alley, they got Back River. They're watching back bunker. This is a good setup. Now we're gonna start to see FaZe Clan push down Cabin Alley. Looking for some call outs and Proto is gonna take down Zuma. Another one's gonna fall as well, all up to attach. Yeah, and he's in a tough spot. I mean, we know Exotic's playing behind this Cabin Rock and this is just impossible for Attach to challenge. Another player over near Wood as well. An impossible spot for Attach to be in and, and clutch up. So Lightning Pad is starting to pull away here in the search and destroy. And I really like what they're bringing to the table. Similar stuff to what we saw from them in the hard point. They're a very teamwork oriented team. They seem to all be on the same page, which is something I love to see. 
Yeah, same here. You, they're working together. They're making all the right plays. They're shooting for each other. They're trading off those kills. Very, very good play here for Lightning Pandas. Now, let's see if FaZe Clan, they will be on offense. Looking like they want to stack towards B. We'll see if they decide to maybe even do something that Lightning Pandas did the next round before. You know, start some promotion, rotate out. They will be a man down. Goonjar takes out Zuma. He takes out Attach as well. Goonjar sitting at 5-2, and two, and he's currently on a 4th Street. Goonjar is back, and he's back in a big way. 5-2 and two on a 4th Street, working towards some streaks. Peeks around the corners, finds the last two players, going for the ace, but Proto steals the kill on the replays. Here comes Goonjar with a re-challenge, finds the kill with the machine pistol. Lightning Pandas, they're impressing me. And I want to say, Goonjar is one kill away from streaks, so that's going to be very important, especially with this lead. And on a map like Arden's Forest as well, a lot of open areas uh, to pick up some kills. And Looking at the classes that some of these players are, are using, I mean, sure, they probably don't think anybody has streaks yet, but uh, I'm not seeing a lot of mountain, a lot of, you know, armored scoped, a lot of airborne and conspicuous. We'll see if Gunjar is able to earn these streaks, if he's, if, if he could find some players not running mountain, get some free easy kills, but it's going to be Lightning Pandas now back on the offensive end. They're up 4-1. And we'll pay close attention to Gunjar, one kill away from getting his fighter pilot. That's a great smoke, by the way. Cutting off that middle alley line of sight so they could push right down through the now, middle street. Now, me and you had a, had a conversation about smokes later, but Proto, right now, picking up a double kill. This bomb is going to go down. He's currently on a four street. So, Goonjar did die. He was not able to get that fighter pilot. But when it comes down to the, he's going to get a third as well. Proto looking for the ace. Attach on the flank. He takes out Royalty. 1v2. Exotic knows exactly where he is. He's going to get that kill, and that's going to be Lightning Pandas round. But what I was going to say is that that smoke, when you start throwing a mid-map, do you want to throw that smoke consistently? Yeah, I, I would love to see something like that as a constant, because if you're going to stack players over at the B site, and then that smoke comes off to block that middle alley, one, you can't go on the platform now to, to look over towards Fire Alley or try to catch anybody crossing. It makes you feel very uneasy, and it's like you lose a lot of information. You're trying to spot for players, maybe counting someone, okay, I see someone Fire Alley, they're pushing down the middle street. Now they no longer have that information, and you can still throw that smoke and run through it and attack B. And we know on a, on a bridge spawn as well, when you go to that B bomb site, you get to that B bomb site a lot, a lot quicker. So you have that, that angle to look into Fire Alley to get those quick picks. But we will see two members fall here from Lightning Pandas. 3v2 situation in favor of FaZe Clan. Bomb will be over here by the A bomb site. All up to Goonjar and Proto to make a play. All right, of course, we know Proto has streaks to work with. They're trying to close out the game. The bomb now being played over at the A bomb site. Here comes the instant challenge from Proto. Nate comes in trying to hit fire. Does get some uh, attack with that grenade. Any challenges are onto the site. Oh. It's a 1v2 now for him. Finds the player over near Wood. He does fall. So FaZe still in this game. Let's see if they can start to mount a comeback. Attach looking serious. FaZe Clan looking to come back into this game. But Lightning Pandas, man, as we said before, they have been playing great. They have been playing for each other. But it's going to come down to, you know, especially in this next round, who's going to get that first blood? Who's going to control the tempo of this map? I'm glad you brought up first bloods because if we, as we enter the game and, and count them, Lightning Pandas, they're dominating that score column. I mean, Exotic Five. has two, Proto has two, Gunjar has one. They only have two first bloods on the side of Base Clan. And obviously getting that man advantage as early as possible in a round is always beneficial in Search and Destroy. 5-2, Lightning Pandas, bomb in hand. Once again, we saw this uh, the last time they was on offense. They went to ruins, started some commotion, playing passive. They're looking to just get intel. We'll see if they decide to, to, to wrap around again, but Exotic, using that streak with the fighter pilot, able to pick up one, and they do get this man advantage. Yeah, uh, Lightning Pandas, they have a ton of streaks to work with here, so as long as they're able to get this bomb down at the B site, all they gotta do is streak it out, but Faze not out of it yet. Glide Bomb coming in as Kill starting to be traded. They spot one player over near Circle as it's gonna be Proto now challenging here. He picked up the kill onto Attach. Now it's left all up the Priest though. 1v2 for him, 40 seconds remaining. Tough spot to be in. Looking for this last kill. He's gonna get one. Oh. Duck behind the cover, 1v1 situation. Can he do it, but he will not. And Lightning Panda goes up 2-1 to one against Phase Clan. Love to see that from Lightning Panda's teamwork makes the dream work. I'm loving what I'm seeing from this squad here. They're impressing me up against FaZe Clan. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Guys